continue watching the rest of this video, please check out this video right here. It's going to show you what my hair looked like before I dyed it this color. And in order for you to have the same results or something close to this, you will probably need to watch this video. So please click this link. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Hey you guys, it's me Jemaya. I just came back from the hair salon and I decided to come and show you guys my hair. And I did this last night. Today is July 4th, so happy 4th of July, you guys. You know, I got my little jacket on. Yeah, it's probably not what I'm going to wear, but who knows? That's not what I'm going to talk about. Um, So yeah, I just came back from the hair salon and I just wanted to show you guys my hair. And my hair is red, and it looks very, very red on camera, but it's not that red in person. Um, it's more of a, it's like a, it's like red and burgundy. Like, this part is burgundy, and this part is like red. But in the camera, it might look like all red or something. And it looks like Rihanna red. It's not Rihanna red. <laughs> so, don't trip out. Um... So yeah, basically I just used the um, infamous L'Oreal High Color Highlights in Magenta. And this is for dark hair only. Um, as you guys know, if you watch my other video, um, the one that I have my hair like with blonde highlights. Um, I just put the color all over. And I was like, well, if the highlighted part gets, like, really red, then I might tone it down with, like, a, um, like a, a what you call it, a rinse or, like, a toner or something. Most likely I was going to use a rinse, but, yeah. But now that I see, like, how it turned out, I don't think I need a rinse because I really like it. Yeah, it's so soft. Like, my hair does not feel damaged at all. Uh, it kind of was a little bit dry at the end, like, on this side. And as you guys know, if you watched my previous video, I started off with a um asymmetrical bob. And this side was longer than this side. It still kind of is, but they're growing out, so they're basically the same length now. And, um, yeah. So, I'm just really loving my hair. And like I said, I use the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in Magenta. I only use one box. This was enough for my whole head. Like, exactly enough. Like, if your hair is longer or thicker, you will probably need two boxes because this. Like, let me show you how, how much you get in the tube. You get like this much. And that's not a lot. It is 1.2 ounces. And it's really not a lot. So, most likely you might need two boxes. But, yeah. That's just how my hair turned out. Um, if you guys want to know what's on my lips, I have the NK Lipstick in Amethyst 901. And I have... <laughs> and I have the Maybelline, uh, what is it called? Maybelline, the Elixir Color Sensational Lip Gloss in 020 Signature Scarlet. And it's so cute. Like, look, at, look at the packaging. So cute. Mm, the little applicator. I have a, um overdue haul video that I didn't put up. I might put this video up before the haul video, so hopefully you could be able to see that because I have more of these and other lip glosses and stuff that I want to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, back to my hair. Um, I did get a trim. I got some more layers cut in the back because if you don't know, like a part of my hair kind of got burnt out like a while back and I'm still trying to grow it out and even it out with my with the rest of my hair. 
So that's more layers in the back. I didn't get no layers on the side because I want this to be the longest part of my hair. Because eventually I want my hair to be like a regular bob, short in the back and long in the front. And when it grows out, I just want it to be long in the front and short or whatever in the back. Because I used to have like a V-cut. Like, you know, when your hair goes in the V. But I don't, I don't really like that. So, yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? I really don't have to say too much. Because this video is not as um, detailed as my other hair color video because all I had to do was just mix this up with some developer. I used 30 bottom developer in a little plastic bowl and I used my little um, coloring brush and I mixed it up and then applied it. But this is a thick consistency so you really need a lot of developer. I, um, I suggest that you get like the big bottle instead of like the little mini size bottle of developer because you will need a lot to like really get the right consistency and mix it up all the way um but i guess you could, i could tell you my story when i was at sally's when i was purchasing a hair color so anyways i went to sally's and then i was thinking like i want to dye my hair but i don't know what color and i was looking at this other color I think it was by Enrage or something. And it was like a purple, like a purple plum color. And I was like, I like this, but I don't think it was going to show up. Because I think it was like vegetable based, like a semi-permanent or something like that. So then I was like, no, I don't want to get that. And then I knew about the L'Oreal High colors, but for some reason I didn't want to go red. Like I wanted to go red, but I didn't want to go like, you know. A regular rig so oh excuse me <laughs> so I ran across this one and this was magenta now the little hair color swatch thing it was like more of a pinky color and I didn't like that so I was like okay if I get magenta and mix it with red then maybe I might get the color that I wanted let's see I was thinking to myself, like, I might not even need to waste two boxes of color because I don't have that much hair, so I waste it. So I just used magenta, and I didn't use red, but I might take this back to the store and get another magenta and dye my uh, leftover hair, stick hair extensions from my sewing that I bleached so I could be able to, like, um make my buns bigger and stuff but yeah when i was at the counter buying my stuff they had like you know how they have the little trial size sample stuff and whatever and um i had already picked up a hair mask i had picked up the argan oil one uh well i'm trying to figure out the name i forgot but yeah i picked up the argan oil one i'll leave it in the description box Cause I tried their conditioner, but I never tried the hair mask. But I was just assuming that was gonna be good. But when I went to the um counter, the lady she was like, "Well, you should get this one because it's better and it's only ninety nine cents." So I picked up two of these and I used one last night, and I really like it. It smells so 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 good. It smells like candy or like um fruity pebble cereal. Or fruit punch or something like i don't know it just smells so good like skittles or something so yeah i put this in my hair and it made my hair so soft and like after i rinsed it out my hair stopped shedding like my hair was shedding a little bit and i was kind of getting nervous like i don't know i thought my hair kind of got uh dried out or whatever so after i rinsed this out my hair was good to go and yeah i really like this so, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I really don't have anything else to say. Um, I just wanted to show you guys where the parts that got um bleached versus the parts that didn't get bleached. Um, 
as you can see this is a part that got bleach and it's like super duper duper red and versus a part that didn't get bleached is like a piece right here so compare these two you probably can't tell okay let me stand back can you see it now it's like this piece is like super duper red and this piece is yeah. and um yeah like on this side you can see like the color difference i gotta stand back so you guys can see it see that see that yeah oh another thing look at my edges though look at them my cousin hooked me up with these edges <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking about like, you know, when my roots start growing in, do I want to do touch-ups or do I want to let my roots be black? Because I kind of, I kind of do like the fresh color look, but I don't know. I'm still getting used to it. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> But, yeah, give me thumbs up, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys again on my next video. Oh, also, don't forget to leave video <laughs> video requests. And follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Both at That's Just Maya. I'll leave it right here. And, yeah, talk to you later. Bye.